Welcome back pest collectors! If you don't know by now, I attended the 2023 Michigan Pest Convention and it was a lot of fun and it was my second year attending in a row which it was really nice because the first year I went, I met a lot of new pets collectors. And this year I went back and I saw a lot of the same people and I met a lot of new pets collectors as well. When you go to these pest conventions at the Michigan Pest Convention, it's almost like a family event. You make a lot of pest friends and it's always nice to see them again. <laughs> We took a lot of footage at the Michigan Pest Convention. I say we because my husband joined me as well. And he shot a lot of the video. I shot some of it. So there's a lot of stuff I want to share with you. So let's get started. But before we do get started, I just want to say a big thanks to everybody who runs the Michigan Pest Convention, Jim and Judy Blaine. They're like the main host, but there's a lot of people in the pest community that also help them. And you might not know, but there's a lot of people who help run the Michigan Pest Convention. And so if you are one of those people, I really, really appreciate it. I can't wait to see, you know, where the Michigan Pest Convention ends up because it seems like every year it's just getting better and better. So if you want to go to a really great pest convention next year, I highly recommend the Michigan Pest Convention. <laughs> we look at the uh, yellow badges. <laughs> oh, but it's but sign up for, on the banners. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you supposed to sign that here? No. I'm on Krypton. Oh, TM, those are my Looks initials. Like <gasps> TM and C. Hi, we're Rebecca and Tim Miskell. Uh, I'm Tim. I started collecting about uh, April this year uh, after I saw the Pez Outlaw movie. And, and I actually got some info from her, and, and I've seen all her videos, almost all of them. <laughs> so I started out, uh, uh, I only wanted to collect superheroes. And then Rebecca started bringing other ones home, <laughs> so that we expanded to a whole bunch of different ones. And this is our, our first Pez convention. It was time to pick up our convention registration packets. Now, if you ever attend a pest convention, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you register because you get extra things. Like you get a t-shirt, you get convention exclusive pest dispensers you can't buy like outside of the convention. You also get usually stuff like pins or other fun, cool swag items. <laughs> Okay. It's got our names on the back. <laughs> there you go. And then you each get one of these. You just pick them randomly? Yeah. Okay. You get one and he... Oh, I was going. <laughs> there you go. She knows what's happening. In the registration room, there's always other past convention items for sale too. You'll find stuff like patches, glasses, pins, pest dispensers, all kinds of really cool stuff. Greg and I, we both bought a blind box because last year I got the really cool golf towel in it. I thought that was really neat. So I was like, let's do it again. It was $10 for a blind box. Inside the blind box, I got one of these Pez coins. And I don't know anything about these. <laughs> it's a Pez coin, I guess. It looks like one of those like pog slammers, like you're gonna slam it down on the table. But I don't have any coins in my collection, I don't think. So this is a first. <laughs> But it's really, really nice. Let me take it out. I guess I should take it out. I don't know. It's got three little characters on it. Because on there it says MI PESCON established 2016. I don't know. If you know more about these coins, you know, feel free to leave a comment down below. It'd be really helpful. But one of my favorite parts about going to the Michigan Pest Convention is the room hopping. If you've never gone to a pest convention, you get to go to people's hotel rooms. They'll open up the door, 
and you can go shop in the room for Pez. That's where I buy majority of my Pez when I go to these Pez conventions is at the room hopping. Then on Saturday, I kind of take my time and go back around the tables and say, did I miss anything? <laughs> and there's always something I miss, but room hopping is a lot of fun. <laughs> we just happen to have Pez in here. Are you looking for something special? Uh, I don't know. This is our first room that we're walking in the room hop, so. Oh, oh I feel so honored. That's my cue. There's your cue. Would you like a bag? You can drop them in here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I did buy that crystal panda pez that you saw. I also got this really cool present on a card. It is William Turner Harrison. There's his name on the side. So this is a president that came on a card, which I thought was a really, really cool find. Come on, John. Hey. Why is your room not open? We just got our uh, registration t-shirts, went to one room so far, and I bought two things. So it's, it's been fun. <laughs> Let's go in the next room. Oh, this pets. If you're wondering what I bought at the Michigan Pest Convention, I did make two haul videos so far. I do plan on making probably a couple more here in the near future. Check out those two videos I already have and look forward to those other two. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, you might want to hit subscribe now so you don't miss out on those videos. And I'm going to be making more Michigan Pest Convention videos coming up as well because I haven't even shown you a Saturday's like giant show yet. So stay tuned. <laughs> These are cool. Yeah. I agree. But oh my gosh, it has your yeah, name yeah. on it. You this is cool. It's gonna be rough. And you know, all the schools are in the Isn't that cute? Did out. you get it on the video? I got it on I did end up trading some swag. I didn't bring like super specific swag stuff like I did last year that you saw in my videos. So this year I just brought some Aaron Clex Pest stickers and I got some cool swag. So real quick, I thought I'd share with you my swag items that I did get. I got this really cool, I think it's 3D printed. It's a silver piece of Pez as a keychain. And this thing is super, super cool. From the Ripley family. Also got this fun Rubik's Cube. Nice. <laughs> it looks like it does work, which is super cool. Also got this little swag item. And it's like a mini dispenser. That's super cool. Sarah always makes like really creative little small dispensers. You saw this swag in my bear convention haul video. This is from Brayden and it's a it's like a horn thing but I love it. It's super cool. It has a panda on it. There's this little shot glass and it has a, like an Albert Einstein printed on it because <laughs> the whole theme of the convention was the like periodic table of elements I guess and it's like science. I don't know but this goes with the theme and I thought it was really cute. Then the other one that goes with the theme is the one you just saw. So this is Karen's swag, which is really, really cool. And then also got some stickers in exchange for my sticker. <laughs> oh, and then there's this one here. I need to stick these on my laptop because it's super cool. <laughs> Her shirt on yep, this. Greg was picking out skulls here to buy. I need to make a skull haul video because he got a lot of skulls. Hey everybody, I'm here at the Michigan Pets Convention, having a great time. Wish more people were here. It's always a fun time. 
uh, Jim and his wife and staff do a wonderful job. Um, I've already done room hopping, picked up some great things. I'm hoarse, I haven't slept much, been here a couple days, and still excited to be here. Then it was time for the 80s theme game night and you were supposed to dress up in like an 80s theme costume but I did not. <laughs> Either did Greg. I'm not much for I guess dressing up into costumes, I don't know. <laughs> so maybe I'll end up dressing up next year? Probably not. <laughs> During game night, you at least get to go up and answer one question, and mine was all about this thing. <laughs> and it's the Elvis Presley tin. It's full of three Elvis Pez. On the back there, it has some Elvis history. And as you can see, mine is still sealed. <laughs> I actually have this in my pile of videos I want to make because I want to open up these and have a set of these out on my shelf because for some reason I do have two sets of these and my question was name one song that's on the CD inside of here and I was like oh no I've never opened this so just watch to see how this goes <laughs> Oh. Name one of the three songs included on the CD inside of the Elvis 10 gift set. Betty? We didn't hear the question. Not correct. What's the name of the Elvis CD in the Elvis 10? Okay, moving on. There's a CD in there. What's the name of the Elvis One of the three songs included with that gift set. The song. Incorrect. <laughs> Hell no is correct. Oh. And then it was Greg's turn and he got the question on the Pez website what year do they say feet were added to Pez dispensers and I was like 1987. I knew this like if I was up there I would have been like 1987 and you should know that if you watch my videos. <laughs> oh. Feet. 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 Oh. Feet. Oh. According to the Pez website what year did Pez put feet on their dispensers? I know that. 1987. Correct. After game night, it was getting kind of late, but most people still had their rooms open for room hopping because, like, once they're in the hotel room, they just have the door open and they want you to come in to shop for Pez. So, why not? <laughs> bottom three rows are full of Pez convention dispensers and these are ones I don't see too often so I thought that was kind of neat. And you don't just find Pez dispensers for sale, you also find Pez art too. Which I bought a couple of these, I bought one for my dad, I bought the yappy dog there with the green head. I also bought myself the pony go around. Check it out.
Isn't this like the coolest thing you've ever seen? I don't even think the lights here do it justice either, but it is beautiful. <laughs> I think Abby did a really great job with these. And uh, this is the purple pony ground. It might be one that I never get, so I thought it would be a really great one to add to my collection as a piece of art like this. And it is like laser cut into, I think this is acrylic? I'm not 100% sure what this is, but it's super cool. I love it. And the yappy dog I already gave it to my dad, so uh, maybe next time I go over to his house I'll have to get a quick video of it or something because it's cool. <laughs> I wanted to buy them all. And since these room hopping clips happen after game night, they played the Pez Outlaw on all the TVs in the hotel. Which was really cool because as you were room hopping, like all the people who had their rooms open for room hopping had the Pez Outlaw on their TV playing. So it was a lot of fun because you go from room to room and you get little, you know, clips and you could listen to the Pez Outlaw movie, which was so much fun. <laughs> Since I just mentioned the Pez Outlaw, there were so many Misfits or I guess Steve Glue variations of the Misfits for sale at the Michigan Pez Convention. Like so many. Some of them were really overpriced in my opinion. Some of them were like really good prices in my opinion. There was a lot of Misfit Pez dispenser for sale. <laughs> This Pez collector, he came all the way from Austria, you know, the home of Pez International, just to attend the Pez convention. And he was selling a lot of nice Pez International items, and I wish I would have bought some of them. But it could be hard to soak all the Pez in for sale while you're walking around room hopping, that like I'll go back and go, oh, I wish I would have bought that. Like, why didn't I? That's the new one. Look how little it is. <laughs> That's the new one. That's cute. <laughs> Three on the tube and I told you two. So 42. Sorry. <laughs> Yikes, that's a lot of giant pest dispensers, or is that a mini bed? There's also a lot of mini Barky Brown sets, and they have bought one set. Don't forget to watch my Michigan Pez haul videos. I really enjoyed looking through the binder of Pez paper items. And Kelly Jo, she was so nice. She's like, any of them that have a panda on them, take them. So I really appreciate that. Thanks so much. I don't know if it's cooked or not. That one looks old too. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. What yeah. is the wrap? There's another one. How much is it? Four different colors. Rice paper. Oh, Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim, how much are the different colors? Oh, look at that. Down here on the floor. You can have Moroccan food. Like, 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 and I found a brainy Smurf that I needed in this Pez box. I've been searching for Smurf Pez the last couple months just so I can make a video here for my channel. So I was like, score! And only for a dollar. And also in that same box, there was a seafoam green sleeve 
Fozzie Bear, and I was just so happy to get both of those. I think we need to do better remembering the stories, honestly. Like, especially the super vintage stuff, where it came from, who got it, who had it last. I think all that stuff is becoming... And Joe Paravati, he finally opened his room for room hopping. So, of course, I had to go check it out. And I did buy some nice vintage Pez there that I just couldn't pass up. But look in the back there. There's a zebra gold rainbow Batman pop Pez just sitting there. And there's also a gold Freddy Funko Pop just sitting there for sale. Those are ones I'd like to add to my collection someday, but they're pretty pricey. Okay, this is an extra, just so you know, but that's an extra. Oh, okay. We'll just throw that in there so we've got it. Because we don't have another thing for it to go in. Okay. It's $42 right okay. now. Okay. Did I, did I give you the money? What? Deal. Uh -huh. Don't twist our arm. Okay, we won't. <laughs> you guys have taught me a lot, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> The first couple days of the Michigan Pets Convention were so much fun. I love room hopping. I love seeing all the people I haven't seen, you know, like in a year. People you talk to online that, you know, you don't see. So that was a lot of fun. And of course, you know, buying the Pez was so much fun. <laughs> That's my favorite part, I guess. I should, I, sh I should just say that. But I do have some more Michigan Pets Convention videos coming up because I haven't shown you the Saturday Pez show yet. And uh, we did do a live stream showing it, but I shot a video before we did the live stream. So I'm going to edit that really soon and get that video up. But we are going to the Cleveland Pezzamania Pez Convention. We're supposed to be there Thursday. So look forward to those videos coming up as well. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, then subscribe. Because you're not going to want to miss out on these convention videos. It is convention season right now for Pez. We have Pezzamania Cleveland. And then there's also the Northwest Pez Convention coming up at the end of August. So <laughs> it's like Michigan, Cleveland, Washington. Oh, and don't forget the Northeast Pez Convention that was right before Michigan. So it's like there's a Pez Convention every month for like four months. Oh, and there was the Maryland Pez Gathering in May. So it's a lot of Pez Conventions. <laughs> And of course there's always like the gatherings all across the world going on like all the time as well. So no matter where you live, there's probably a Pez convention or a Pez gathering you might want to attend. I highly recommend it. <laughs> you gotta go to at least one in your life, I think. Just so you can say, I've been to a Pez convention. Cause I do get asked quite often if there are conventions for Pez. And I'm like, yes, <laughs> it's the best time of the year. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I write to you in poetry with words left on the shelf. Full of dust, you'll know it's me and from.